for the morning kisses. So Good morning cute. and welcome everyone to Miss Mel and Miss Ebony's virtual reading classroom lesson number three for reading skills. And actually today we should tell them Brody, we have a guest star, a guest starring lesson of spelling. spelling. Today we are going to, oh, my newscaster is leaving. Bye newscaster. Today we are going to have our very first spelling lesson. Now, let me tell you, I'm excited because it is one of my very favorite lessons to teach. It is called the floss, not like flossing your teeth. But floss, like the dance? Floss, short vowel spelling pattern. There's three of them. In our English language, we have three short vowel spelling patterns. And today we're going to learn the first one. Brody, I need your help. I need your help. They have to learn about flossing. Oh, again, no, not flossing like you do before or after you brush your teeth, flossing as in when you have a one-syllable word right after a short vowel, you double F, L, S, or Z. That's what we're going to talk about today. It is a very important reading and spelling skill. I'm very excited. Maybe Rosie will join me. I don't know. Maybe someone will join us. So we got right into it today. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, as always, this is our virtual classroom. If you need something, go grab it. If you want a different pen, if you don't have the right pen and to take notes from our lesson, go get a different pen. If you want to get a snack, what do you do? You just pause me, boop, 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 and go get that snack. You want to go take a run outside quickly and come back, get those wiggles out, feel free. That's the freedom of this virtual classroom. I do miss you guys very, very much. Okay, let's get into our first spelling lesson, the short vowel spelling rule, flossing. Maybe sometime Brody will come back. I don't know. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Miss Mel and Miss Ebony's virtual PowerPoint classroom reading skills lesson number three, guest starring the floss spelling rule. Let's get into it. I'm going to change the point of my pen. All right. But, before, but first, we want to talk about syllables again. This is important for our understanding of this floss spelling rule. Syllables are a part of it, so let's talk about our syllables. Remember, a syllable is a word or part of a word, like cat, you can't really see that, oops, sorry. Like cat or part of a word like, hmm, like in this word, kin in the word pumpkin, a word or part of a word with one vowel sound. That's important. A syllable is a word or part of a word with just one vowel sound. A syllable can have more than one vowel letter, like in the word team, you see two vowels here, but it will only have one vowel sound. That EA makes one sound. So how many syllables and how do we know? Let's look. Cost. This is a one syllable word because it has one vowel sound that ah sound right there. Shin, it is a one syllable word because you should hear that short I sound. I, I, shin, that's a one syllable word with one vowel sound. Blame, hmm, I see two vowels here, but it's still one syllable because you only hear one vowel sound. That E is silent, this is a V, C, E syllable. We'll learn about that next week. That E is silent, jumps over, making that A say the long sound, blame, A is the only vowel sound you hear in that word, so it's one syllable. Napkin. Ah, ah, i, ah, i. Napkin. I hear two vowel sounds, so it is a two syllable word. Remember, there are six types of syllables. If our big umbrella term is syllables, our raindrops are the types of syllables, and all of our words are made up of the six different syllables. Knowing the syllable type, if it's closed, our controlled vowel team, consonant L-E, that's like the word turtle. Vowel team would be like that word team or break when there's two vowels next to each other. Open would be hi or my, that's when Y becomes a vowel. Our controlled would be one like car or star and closed would be one like cat. That's where we're focused. So knowing the syllable types is so important because the syllable will tell you, it will give you a clue as to what the vowel sound will do in a word. Will it be long, will it be short, will it be irregular? That's why it's so important to know our syllable types. That's why we're learning them. For example, like shin and shine 
I know that this I in the word shin is going to be the short sound and not the long sound because of the type of syllable it is, because it is a closed syllable. Because this is a closed syllable, is one vowel letter closed in by one or more consonants, making this I say the short sound, it is the word shin. Shine, on the other hand, is a VCE syllable type. So it's going to give us, I'm making this smaller again. It is going to give us a different vowel sound. Shine is a VCE. The E is silent. It jumps over that consonant N to make the I say its name. That's why shine has a long sound. The guesswork is out of there. You don't need to guess anymore. If you know the syllable type, it's like a science. You'll know what the vowel do. Last week, we worked on closed syllables, slamming that door on your vowels. They're all going to be short. Remember, a closed syllable has only one vowel letter. This is the definition of our closed syllables. Only one vowel letter closed in by one or more consonants, and the vowel will be the short sound. It doesn't have time to say its name. This, the, the consonants close in that door, and it has the short sound. This is to mark the short sound, that brev. Again, there doesn't need to be consonants in front of the vowel. You don't need consonants in front of the vowel. You just need one vowel letter closed in by one or more consonants, and the vowel will have the short sound. You don't need anything in front. And the vowel can be closed in by one or more. In the word best, it's, the vowel is closed in by two consonants. All you need is one vowel closed in by one or more consonants to make the vowel say the short sound. Now, the sil understanding syllables and understanding closed syllables is very, very important to our floss short vowel spelling pattern. Let's look at it. Let's do a little exploration. We're going to look for patterns. So if we were together, I would be asking you guys these questions. So I'm going to give some think time on this slide. Let's look at these words. I'll read them. Staff, bliss, bluff, pill, hiss, still, chess, press, Jazz, fuzz, stuff, will. Why are these words grouped together? How many subgroups are there? What type of vowel sound do the words have? How many syllables are these words? How can we describe the spelling pattern? Those are all questions I want you guys to think about. Let's look at this question first. Why are these words grouped together? How many subgroups are there? Well, I notice that some of these words end in two Fs, like staff, bluff, or stuff. I'm use a different color now. Some of these words end in two Ss, like bliss, hiss, chess, press. Some of these words end with two Ls, still, pill, will. And some of these words end in two Zs, jazz and fuzz. So I would say there is one subgroup for red. Here's another group for our, our blue, another group for green, another group for yellow. Oop, I didn't circle this red. So we have four subgroups. And they all end in two consonants, either F, L, S, or Z. What type of vowel sounds do the words have? Let's think about those vowel sounds. Staff, ah, ah, bliss, eh, eh, bluff, uh, uh, press, eh, eh, fuzz, uh. They are all short. They all have short vowel sounds. Not a coincidence. How many syllables are these words? Let's look. Remember, a syllable is a word or part of a word with just one vowel sound. Staff, I hear one vowel sound there. Bliss, bluff, pill, hiss, still, chess, press, jazz. Think for a second. How many syllables are these words? How many vowel sounds do you hear? All have one vowel sound. So they are all one syllable because you hear one vowel sound. Let's see how we can describe the spelling. The short vowel spelling pattern floss. Oh, look at this monkey flossing. This is our spelling rule that can apply to all those words, and we're going to see a list of words soon. At the end of a one-syllable word, 
So that is a word that just has one vowel sound right next to a short vowel sound. That's where our closed syllables come into play. Most of these, not all, are closed syllables because it is a short vowel sound. You double F, L, S, or Z at the end of a one-syllable word right next to a short vowel sound. When you're thinking about your spelling, if that word ends in F, L, S, or Z, you double it. Like huff and puff. It is a one-syllable word. It is right next to this short vowel. All of these are next to a short vowel. And you double F, L, S, or Z. We'll do some examples, don't worry, before we get to our activity. Here is a whole list. There's so many floss words that you guys know, so many. There's a rhyme and reason as to why loss has two S's, or sniff has two F's, or puff has two F's, or dress has two S's. It's not, it's not just a coincidence. There's a reason here. That's the rule that we're learning right now, the floss rule. Let's explore it. Go nuts for flossing. The squirrel thinks it has to do with flossing, but really we're spelling squirrel, we're spelling. Here is the word fuss. Now, let's think about why I wanna make sure my color will show. Fuss is a floss word because it is a one syllable word. It has a short vowel sound right next to a short vowel sound. So at first, I know this is a one syllable word because you have one vowel sound. I know it's a short vowel sound because it's a closed syllable. Here's, remember our pattern for closed syllables? You have one vowel closed by one or more consonants. Your vowel will have the short sound. So I know this is a short sound because I know it is a closed syllable. And does this word end in F, L, S, or Z? Yes, it ends in S. So it's not fuss with one S, it's fuss with two because you double F, L, S, or Z. Hill. I know that it is a one syllable word because I hear one vowel sound. That I, that I sound. I know that is a short vowel sound because it's a closed syllable. One vowel letter closed in by one or more consonants makes that vowel have the short sound. So I know it is a short vowel. And right after that short vowel, right next to it is F, L, S, or Z. So the L is doubled. It's right, it's gotta be right. And we're gonna see examples of what isn't a floss word and we'll talk about why. Mess, you guys think to yourself, why would that be a floss word? You have one syllable. You have a short vowel sound because it's a closed syllable and it ends in F, L, S, or Z, so you double it. Buzz, same thing, Buzz Lightyear. You have one syllable. Oh, maybe that was one of you guys emailing me. You have one syllable closed in by, this vowel is closed in by one or more consonants, so it's a short vowel sound. It ends, look at this Z is right next to the U. It's gotta be right next to it, right next to it. It has F, L, S, or Z at the end. So you double it, it is a floss word. Okay, again, here's just a raccoon flossing at the end of a one syllable word right next to the short vowel. It's gotta be right next to it, you double F, L, S, or Z. You don't floss for words like chest. Even though it is a one syllable word, you hear one vowel sound, it is a close syllable because you have one vowel letter closed in by one or more consonants, but it is not a floss word because look, one, it doesn't end in F, L, S, or Z. And even though it has an S, it doesn't end in it. It doesn't end in that S, that T is there. So it's not a floss word. Self, same thing. It is a one syllable word. It is a closed syllable. So that E is short. However, it doesn't end. This F isn't right next to that E. There's something in the way. Cell would be, Seth would be a nonsense one, but this F would have to be right next to the E. Male, it doesn't have a short vowel sound. Silk, it doesn't end in F, L, S, or Z. And loft, again, it doesn't end in F, L, S, or Z. 
Let's do a little activity. So I want you guys to tell me, and I can, I'll hear your voices through, through our virtual classroom screen. Tell me if a word, um, tell me if the words have a double F, L, S, or Z. And if they do, tell me why they do. And if not, tell me why still. I know you guys will tell me through the screen. But we looked at this one earlier. Yes, it ends with a double F, L, S, or Z because it is a floss word. You have one syllable. You have a short vowel sound. So you double F, L, S, or Z. Beautiful. It does end in F, L, S, or Z, but it's not doubled. It doesn't have two. So this is not a floss word. It has more than one syllable. I hear a bunch of vowels in there. It's more than one syllable. There's there's a lot of vowel sounds there. It's not just a short vowel sound. And, and, and so this is not, for many reasons, this is not a floss word. Silk. Well, it is one syllable. It is a close syllable. It does have that short sound, but it does not end in F, L, S, or Z. It ends in K, so you would not double that. Shell. It does end in a double L. It is a floss word. One syllable, short vowel sound. Right next to that short vowel is an L. You double that L. Pancakes. Oh, yum. I think I'll have pancakes later. Pancakes. Two-syllable word. Not a floss word. It's two syllables. Doesn't meet our criteria there, even though it ends in S. Two syllables. Two syllables, too many. Chess. I hope everyone's having some fun, fun games of chess at home. Chess does end, oops, it does end with double S. So it is a one-syllable word right next to a short vowel is an S, so you double it. Waterproof, not a one-syllable word. Two syllables, or more than two syllables, sorry. Waterproof, it's a multi-syllabic word. Many, not a short vowel sound, even though it ends in F, you have more than one syllable, not a floss. Spell, yes. Two L's, one syllable word, right next to a short vowel, ends in L, you double it. Hiss, oh, very cute, so cute. Hiss, you have a one syllable word with a short vowel, the S is right next to it, so yes, you do double it. Hiss is a floss word. Stump, one syllable word, yes, it's a, it's a uh, short vowel sound, however, it does not end in F, L, S, or Z, so, not a floss word. Snail. Snail is a one syllable word. However, it makes the long A sound. This is a vowel team syllable. Not a floss word, even though it ends in L, because it is not, not a short vowel sound. Melt. Melt. Oh, my name is in there. It is a closed, it is a one syllable word. It does have a short vowel sound. However, it does not end in F, L, S, or Z, so you don't double. So for our activities in Seesaw, you guys might see there's a few activities there. Choose the ones you would like to do. This is an activity where you underline and read the words that have the double F, L, S, or Z, so it's kind of a floss word hunt. Here is just a straight reading of floss words. Some of them are nonsense, some of them are real. You will also have different, I wrote a few different paragraphs to read and a few matching activities. So I look forward to seeing your work there. So does Miss Ebony. And this is a cat flossing again, so cute. We will see you back in our virtual classroom. Miss Mella, is this what we need for the floss rule? Oh, is it Miss Ebony so silly? No, Miss Ebony, not, not that kind of floss or like the dance, which I don't know how to do. Floss is our short vowel spelling pattern. Now, everyone, we hope you enjoyed the PowerPoint. Please go and back into our Seesaw classroom and do those activities. We are excited to see what you come up with. Email us, call us, send us a text if you have any questions. Miss Mel and Ms. Ebony, over and out. See you guys for reading skills next week. Have a lovely, 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 lovely day.